Hello everybody, this is Pure American here, and today we are going to be talking about Colossians 1 again, but we are going to be picking up in verse 15. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video of going through 1 uh, through 14. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch the last video. Um, it, it's a funny one, um, so, well, the gameplay is. But um, yeah, so diving right in. So, um, verse 15. Uh, Paul is basically expounding upon uh, Christ is God in the flesh. He is the same nature of God. Um, he is the second person of the Trinity, and um, he is the invisible. He is the visible image of the invisible God. So we can know God through him. Um, then verse 16. Um, we had actually just talked about this at church on a Sunday, which was a great message. Um, if you want to hear a great message, uh, First Baptist North of Terre Haute, um, the message uh, on yesterday was the 9th. Um, our pastor, Brett, he talked about Christ's authority, and uh, he used one of these this verse to basically expound upon that, because um, his message was Luke 1 through 10, talking about the centurion acknowledging Christ's authority, and um, so, verse 16 talks about that Christ has made all things, and everything that was created, it was created through him and for him. It was all, it's all his, and he made it for himself. Um, and then verse 17 um, talks about how Christ holds all things together. So, if Christ ever at any point ceased to maintain the universe as it is, it would just cease to exist if he ever stopped it for even a split second it would cease because it's upheld by his power and that's the thing he's so powerful it does not wear him out it's nothing to him to maintain everything as it is he is all powerful and um there's no limit to him um verse 18 talks about how christ is the head of the church um he leads it and again it belongs to him all things belong to him he dictates what the church does and that's given by his word um verse 20 um, talks about how we're reconciled to God uh, through Christ because of his making peace uh, through his blood. So he he was the sacrifice that made peace between us and God. And then as verse uh, 21 through 22 talks about, uh, he had to make peace on our behalf because we were once enemies of God, stuck in our evil ways, as Romans 5.10 uh, says. But um, we were reconciled to him through his death and through this peace that he made um, through through his death. And then uh, verse 23, um, Paul says that we, we need to continue in the faith um, for this hope of eternal life. Now, this is not meaning that we maintain our salvation by works, things like that. But what, what it's really saying is um, all those who have a true saving faith, um, they're going to continue on because we've been made new creations, as 2 Corinthians 5.17 says. And with this new nature that we have being a new creation um we have a nature that loves to please god we seek to obey him to please him and do what he says and whereas the old nature wants to please self and seek sin this new nature um loves him and wants to obey him and do everything they can for him so all right um, there will be one more section of Colossians 1. Again, I've loved being able to dig in deep and um, just go verse by verse. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as well. And um, again, my email linked on the channel. Prayer requests, questions, anything like that. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, see you in the next one, guys. Alright, guys, we are back yeah. here in Red Dead Redemption 2. Gonna play a little bit more of story mode. Oh. How many? A lot. See what we got Uniforms going everywhere. Here. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. What's going on here, boy? What we're Wait. doing? <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Places crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. 
Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, okay. come on. What can go wrong? Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Eh, it's not gonna yep. happen. I really do like this character, though. All right, where are we going? Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got but. Whoops. Stop. Uh, Springfield double barrel. Carbine Trolls out on. all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what all right, you're doing. All right, all right, all right. Hey, they've pulled into shore. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. All right. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. All right. Look out! Then move. Don't tell me to look out. I can't move anymore. Do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. I crouch. There. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't, I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Nice acting. Okay, what happened to a stealth okay. kill, man? Let's That's get just being him. mean. A pleasure as hold always, on, gentlemen. On. Let me move I these guys from here. Real quick, I gotta get my piece. Sorry, Mister. Come 
on. We got two halfway up the canyon still. Okay, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Those are very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? <laughs> Is he alive still? Mm. Come on, focus. Oh. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there! Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm no. embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing Punch means him. more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. Arthur. You're I don't believe man, a word Arthur, of that, Arthur. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm going to see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. 
Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine you all missed me a lot, but fear not. The joy's back in your lives now. All right, guys. Well, that is all the time I have for this video. Um, fun game. And uh, hopefully I'll be playing more online because uh, that was a blast. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button. Uh, be sure to subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye, guys.